This morning, we're tackling that controversial statement from lobbyist Hillary Rosen. She criticized Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney's wife, Anne, for being a stay-at-home mom. A lot of people are talking about this. A lot of people are angry. Yes. The woman who always has an opinion on I just do. about anything. I do. Radio host Lisa Wexer. Good morning, me. Erica. How are you? I'm good. Well, you know, Hillary Rosen made a mistake because she stepped her foot right into the mommy wars, which is the term that I use for the fact that women among themselves, forget about the men, are constantly struggling with the issue. You know this because you're a working mom, I'm a working mom, but there's a question of staying at home, staying at home part-time, working full-time, full -time. and it's always a juggle, and it's always a conflict mm -hmm. because it's difficult for us to ma manage um, everything. Absolutely. Now, we do have a clip sure. of Rosen's comment. We're sure. going to play it right now. Country saying, well, you know, my wife tells me that what women really care about are economic issues, and when I listen to my wife, that's what I'm hearing. Guess what? His wife has actually never worked a day in her life. Ouch. Ouch. Right. Everybody felt the I mean, ouch. if ever there was a foot in the mouth, yes. it was there. Yes, because, you know, you can't personalize it. And actually, many women that don't work out of the home manage their households. Their husband very often hands them a paycheck. Just like a business. Just like a business. They, they know the price of shoes. And everything. They know the price of cereal. They know exactly what's going on in the economy. They have to. They have to. And they know exactly what they're spending and what their budget is. And for many women, they're better budget keepers, frankly, than the congressmen themselves. So... But yeah, politicians might learn a little thing or two exactly. from, from mom. Exactly. But I think stepping back, the Republicans know, and so do the Democrats, that this election in November, Erica, is going to be determined by women. In 2008, 70 million women voted, only 60 million men voted. Mm -hmm. And because last month they did a poll and they showed the gender gap to be substantial, President Obama and the Democrats leading in women by 18 percent in swing states, the Republicans are on the ropes. They're panicked. So they seize this moment, this clear faux pas by Hillary Rosen, and they run with it. And Ann Romney, she pretty much seized the moment, too. She fired back she fairly did. quickly. Let's take a look at that. My career choice was to be a mother. And I think all of us need to know that we need to respect choices that women make. Other women make other choices to have a career and raise family. We have to respect women in all those choices that they make. All right, absolutely. Yeah, there's no question about it. I mean, and you can't blame the Republicans for trying, but I think as a woman and looking at what's happening, the Democratic Party has substantially been ahead of the Republicans about these economic issues that women care about. President Obama signed the Lilly Ledbetter Act, which for the first time formalizes equal pay for equal work. Uh, the issues of contraception and reproductive rights that keep coming up in state legislatures and now federally are issues that women care about. The idea that the Paul Ryan budget substantially slashes Medicare, well, that disproportionately affects women. Women live longer than men. Older women rely on Medicare more than men. I think that this is a flash in the pan, that when it subsides, there will still be of course the mommy wars and the tension mm -hmm. among stay-at-home and working career mothers but as far as the big picture the determination of the White House my view is the Republicans have a long way to go to earn back the trust of women now we do have to say that Rosen did issue an apology she did to Anna we want to play that clip for you as certainly well. I apologize working moms stay-at-home moms they're both extremely hard jobs I know I've shared them both and I, I'm sorry if that offended you they both are very hard. I was and at home for And she's a working mom months. too. Right. I know you were at home for I was at home for 18 months. It's hard, you know, when you're working at home and it's hard when you're when you're at work juggling it all. And when you're at all work, around. you're thinking about the kids, and when you're just with the kids, there's a level of drudgery. You can't wait to be back at work. Well, you're worrying about what's going to go on when you get back there. That's right. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it's definitely something that people are still going to be talking about for a while. It I is. Think. It is. But as far as politics go, it's going to be the women that determine it in November. Absolutely. Thanks, Erica. Thanks, Lisa. And don't forget to listen to Lisa on the radio. She's on from 4 to 6 p.m. on 1230 a.m. WFAS or head over to LisaWexler.com.